Hey, what's going on? It is Steph here from StephJKing.com coming to you from beautiful Brisbane, Australia. And today we're going to go over what to do if you're not reaching your goals. not actually meeting your goals then you might be feeling a little bit down on yourself what I find is if there is a lack of motivation in an area of your life that tends to mean that it's really not something that you hold at your highest level of values or you're pretty much your closest to what will get you your life purpose so in this video I'm going to talk to you how you can make sure that the goals that you do have in place are in fact connected to your life purpose or what I've previously called your highest values in life. And then at the end, I'm actually gonna share with you how you can take any goal that you have or any area of your life that may not be your highest values, but you still want that goal and you still wanna to work towards it. So definitely stick around to the end. So first things first is you need to analyze your current goals. Now, are your goals in line with your highest values and your life purpose? Or is it something that you've borrowed from someone else? Because maybe one day you were scrolling through Instagram and you saw someone that was competing in a body competition and they looked absolutely amazing and you thought, heck, I'd like to do that. And you started working towards that yourself. But then you found that you weren't keeping up with your training plan and you weren't eating 100% to your plan either. And you just kept falling off the bandwagon. Or maybe you've taken on someone else's goal, particularly if you're close to that person, then sometimes what you'll find is you may actually take what they value in life and make it your own. And this is something that I did for a very long time. My partner, he was very business oriented wanted his own company and that was something that was very important to him and before we met that was probably not really an interest area of mine and what I found was the first couple of years of our relationship was I took on his goal in life and made it my own so I was looking at ways that I could create my own business and I dedicated a lot of time and effort in there and then I realized what I was doing was I was creating more work for myself today and I was creating a lot of work for my future self, which was the exact opposite of what my highest values in life were. And that was I wanted to spend a lot of my time with my family. So I wanted to create a level of freedom so I could have children and I could have a lot of time just spent with family. So I was actually contradicting my life purpose with the actions that I was doing. So no wonder I was never meeting any of my goals. And that leads me into a question that you need to ask yourself. And that is what will reaching your goal mean to you? So what's the outcome of that? And I want you to look at the pros and cons of the ultimate end. So I want you to grab a piece of paper and a pen, draw a line down the middle and on the left hand side, write pros and on the right hand side, write cons. And then what I want you to do is write out 50 things of each. So 50 pros that you will get as a result of reaching your outcome and then 50 cons. And I'm not saying for you to do this so you can then go, oh, my goal's crap and it's gonna bring so much negativity. Or you may have an instant reaction of, no, my goal's all good. There's nothing bad that's gonna come out of this. But what you'll find is, whilst it might be challenging for you to identify any negative things based on your own goal, because you just have it up on a pedestal and you just think it's gonna be amazing when you reach there, there's always gonna be challenges in your life. For an example, one of your goals might be that you wanna become a very well-known speaker and travel the world. But if that does not link into your highest values and your highest value might be spending more time with your family. So when you start writing down the cons, it could be that you're well known, which is what you want. You get to travel and see a lot of the areas of the world that you may not have necessarily been able to, which is great. But on a negative point of view, it might mean a lot more time away from your family. And maybe that's your highest value. So you can kind of see there that maybe your goal at the moment isn't actually linked into what your life purpose is. 
everything that comes to you is going to be balanced. There's good and there's bad. There's positive and then there's negative. There's support and then there's challenges. So you can see that there's always going to be a nice level balance. And if you can know what the pros are and what the cons are and you're happy, for both of those things and you still believe it's worth it, then you can definitely proceed and start working more so on your goal. Doing this activity, you might find two things. And the first one is that you realize the goal that you originally set yourself is actually not your own and you've borrowed it from someone else. And what do you do in this instance? You let it go. So you might find that maybe that goal just isn't for you and it wasn't for you to begin with. And it's absolutely okay to change your mind and to change up your goals. Because by letting go of something that you're not gonna be inspired to work on and have that self-motivation with, then you can find other goals that actually do give you that inspiration, that you are excited to work on and you don't need motivation to do it. And the second one is you might find that it's still an outcome that you want and it is a goal that you want to work on, but maybe it's currently not connected to your life purpose or your highest values. So what do you do? You connect your goal to your top three, one of them, highest values that you hold very, very dear to you. So this might mean that one of your highest values is your children. And one day your child gets sick and you find out that maybe they have food allergies. So maybe they're gluten and dairy intolerant and they cannot have any of that in their diet. Because your children are your highest values, you will then become very dedicated to researching nutrition and maybe nutrition and health wasn't an area of importance to you previously but because your children are you will then find that you become like an expert in health and nutrition because you need to and it's something that you are then in that moment is one of your highest values and, and areas of importance so you need to figure out what the outcome of this goal is and how it's going to help you reach one of your highest values in your life and it's just a matter of sitting down and just writing out how is this going to help you reach your life purpose. And I do suggest you write this out on a piece of paper and try to aim to get quite a number to help you identify what it's actually going to do for you. And then once you make that connection, so you know that by you creating an online business, that that's going to give you the freedom to spend more time with your family and that is your ultimate life purpose then that's going to help you feel inspired to do the work to meet your goal. So you won't need to be constantly motivated. You won't need to be asked to do the work. You won't need to be told to do the work because you know in your mind by you doing the work to get to this goal, it's going to help you reach your life purpose. So I hope you received value out of this video. Please leave me a comment below and let me know if it did help you. If you are new here, then please make sure you do subscribe and tick that notification bell so that you do get notified each time I upload. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye.